Today we'll be making the Aiden Ross socials overlay for free. Uh, let's just go ahead and get on the computer and start making it. So everything will be linked in the description, but if you go to my website, for those of you who have been around a while, no more Google Drives. I'm gonna put everything on here. I've already got the health bars from all the other videos. More overlays to come, but everything is free. Right now, this Aiden Ross template will be free. Go there and click on it, name a fair price. Go ahead and type in a fat zero. Say you want this, put in your email, and there you go. There's a link to our Discord, be sure and join that. Then you can view your content, and there you go. The Photoshop file is gonna be the easiest way to do this. I'm gonna run through that part really fast. If you want to, you could do a Photoshop free trial this is gonna make it super easy to do this. Otherwise, I'll show you the free way, which is Pixlr. We've used that website a lot on this channel, but if you're gonna do the Photoshop way, go ahead and download the Photoshop file and let's show you that real fast. So this is what you'll get in the Photoshop file. It'll have the text already ready, the socials. You can go into the socials folder. I threw Snapchat in there if you wanted to do that, but you can take them all and move them around. And all you'll have to do is open this file, double click where it says Aiden Ross, and then go ahead and type in your name, and then just slide that around. The font I'm using in this video, which I'm gonna show you other fonts that are free and you don't have to do anything complicated, but with this font, it's the closest one I could find, and it's called Lazy Type. And so I'll have this linked in the description as well, it is a free font, free download here, designed by Noob Fonts, shout out to them. It's free for non-commercial, so don't go try and sell this. I'm, if you do, you didn't get it from me. That's pretty much it with the Photoshop file. Uh, you can take these and move them around if you want for some reason. And then again, that Snapchat is there and you can show or hide it or move it out on the edge, whatever you wanna do. But when you're done, I'll hide Photoshop. You just hide this background. There is a reference on top of his if you need it. But make sure everything's hidden when you're ready to save it. Click File in the top left. Go down to Export. Quick export it as a PNG. You can save it on your desk, de 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 desktop or wherever you want and name it whatever you want. And that's pretty much it for Photoshop. So now for the free version, we'll go to our trusty pixlr.com and click our advanced photo editor there in the middle. Go ahead and create new, little button right there under open image. You can come over to social and do a Twitter cover. If for some reason you can't find this, it's just 1500 by 500. That's a good size for what we're making today. So we'll just name this Aiden Ross. Yeah, caps lock, create. And so now if you're using Pixlr and you're doing this for free, what you'll need from the download on the website is just this socials only. And then once you download that, go ahead, find it in your downloads. If I can find mine, there's the social only. I'll give you this option and go ahead and click add current. And there's the social logos already ready for you, ready to go. You can click in the corner and drag it down to resize it and leave it like right there. So now when it comes to font, I have this pulled up. So this, this is the font that's linked in the description that's gonna be closest to the real thing. And so again, you'll come here, download it, and you'll have to extract it and install it on your computer. If that sounds complicated and you don't wanna do all that, then these are the other fonts that are already on Pixlr that I think look, you know, good enough to work. So to show you the names real fast, this one's called Sweeney. This is Hippoletto. Mundo Mundo. This is Magic Trick. And this last one is Malat. So any of those should work. If you want to use the Aiden Ross one, you click up on font, you add local font, go to the folder where you downloaded lazy type, open that folder and install the open type font file. If that's too crazy, 
forget I said anything. Let's get back into it. I'm taking way too long on this video. So back on our one with just our socials, let's click our text tool, click over here. Do you want to add a new text layer? Yes, that's why I clicked the text tool. I'm gonna go ahead and type, hey, text. And then you can come up and click a little pointer arrow tool to get out of your text. Go ahead and resize that to about the same size as the socials. Come back to your text tool, click on your text to layer, come up to fill, drag the circle up to the top left to make it white. And sorry, let me change the font. Uh, let me use one of the free Pixlr fonts. Let's do Sweeney. Sweeney is pretty close. You don't have to do the crazy font installing stuff. So now with Sweeney, what you're gonna do to your layer once you've got it spelled right, what we're about to do is gonna make the text not be able to be changed. So make sure you didn't misspell anything. Come up to layer in the top left and click rasterize layer. Now you can get your little pointer tool over on the left, click the layer, go up to filter and add an outer glow. You can drag this window around so it's not in the way. What you wanna do is take that feather down to zero. Let's click on the color box, drag that all the way down to black and make sure your opacity is at 100 and then kind of play around with the size to try and match the socials that you already added. Or if you want to, you know, kind of freestyle it, you can go big with it to make all the letters connect. Do whatever size you want and then hit apply. And then you're gonna go back up to filter and do another outer glow. Crank that filter down to zero and then play with the size again and hit apply. And there is your socials overlay. You can click, well, since it's ginormous with your scroll wheel, you can zoom out and that way you can see the outside and you can resize it a little bit if the outline made it too big. Let's go ahead and make it the same size. Drag that over and there you go. It actually looks better if you take that layer and put it under the socials, then move it where you like. And you can also click one layer, hold down shift and click the next layer. Now it's selected both of them. Scroll out with your scroll wheel and then you can use that to resize the whole thing if you want. Now all you need to do is go up to file, export, quick export as P, do a quick export page, not just the layer. Make sure you do page as PNG. Save it <laughs> as Aiden Ross Alpha on your desktop or wherever, and boom, there you go. That took way too long to explain, but I hope it makes sense. Be sure and check out my website for more overlays, the channel for more videos. I'm in this cool space, more to come on that later. This is mine and my buddies, YouTube studio. I'm out of here, I love you, bye. <coughs>